So what does a business coach do? If we go online, on Facebook, on Instagram, we are inundated with business coaches. I'm gonna to talk today about what it's like to be a business coach and really deconstruct that word. Hi, it's Ruth Kidsey, founder of Optimus Coach Academy and Ruth Kidsey Coaching Limited. I am passionate about helping people live the lives they want to live on their terms through supporting people to train and develop as coaches and supporting people in my coaching business to build and grow their businesses. So first of all, coach. There are many, many people that use the word coach and it has got lots of different meanings. I'm going to talk about if you are working as a coach, so not a mentor, not a trainer or not a teacher. And let's just differentiate that. So as a mentor, you're leading through experience. So you'd expect someone who's a business mentor to have had experience building businesses. So they're sharing with you what they've done. You're, if someone's a trainer, they're teaching you what they know. And if someone's a consultant, they're telling you what to do. We know all of those can work. A coach helps you find the answers. So a coach asks questions, partners with you, and supports you to move towards your goal. And business coaches, often have a blended approach. They might do some mentoring in a coaching style, but really they're personalizing that to you. Now I so said the big thing about business coaches when they do it well, it's personalized. So it's not about a massive program where you've got thousands of people going through, following the seven steps to seven figures or the eight ways that you can get your first million. In fact, it's about working with an individual to identify how are they going to go from where they are now to where they want to be? What does that strategy look like to them? And what actually feels good and feels aligned? Because with, there is no one way and there's no one way to get success. So it needs to be tailored and personalized. So a great business coach will help support you develop a strategy that works for you, your ideal client, your preferences, and how you want to work. And that may start by looking at you as an individual. What you want your working life to be like. What you want your business life to be, look like. How you want to be spending your time. And that's really important because it may be that you're creating a lifestyle business. So something that fits around your family. Or maybe you've got a big dream to have a business that's going to be turning over millions with a, a physical office and a team that of 50, 100 or more. So first of all, it's getting really, really clear on what that success looks like for you. What that looks like in terms of how you spend your time, but also what it looks like in terms of that vision. And I think that is the first step, really getting clear on what is the vision for your client? Where do they want to go? What's that gonna include? And then when you have the vision and that's mapped out, a coach will help you to identify the steps to get there. Now they may be giving you some support on the strategy as well. So they may be giving you, and that would be some mentoring or some consulting on, okay, these are the different things that you can do. Let's work out for you what's gonna be the right blend. And that would include looking at your business model, looking at whether you're gonna outsource or have people who are working for you, looking at, the structure of your different products, and people call it a funnel, I don't really like that word, more about that sales journey. So where are people gonna start, and where are people gonna end up, and what are the different products or services that can help them? It might be about segmenting your offers for different markets or different ideal customers. If we can imagine Apple, Apple, we know that Apple sell laptops and phones, they have, a whole, they have a differentiated offer depending on their customers. If you're going to be using that for design or photography, you can have a much higher spec than if you're going to be using it for homework and browsing the web. So it's about understanding your market and then differentiating, differentiating that offer. So a business coach is going to be asking you the right questions. Now, obviously, there is always like this blend there with business coaching, because depending on who you're working with, people may also be coming to you with some things that coaching is not gonna get the answer for. So there are some things that people may not know. 
And often that's about supporting them rather than with the how, with the who. Who can they go to for help or where can they go for help? A really simple one there is in the UK we have different business structures, sole traders, private limited companies, partnerships, CICs, and they're really, you know, you wouldn't be coaching somebody if they had no knowledge over which one they choose. Instead, you just help support them to find out more about them. And actually, my advice is always to speak to an accountant who's going to be able to give you advice based on your personal circumstances over which of those would work. So there is often that blended approach. But for business coaches, and I think the best when you're working with people one-to-one, -one, it is about getting to, to the core of the person that you're working with. We always talk about coaching the person, not the problem. So their problem may be that their business isn't growing. And you may hear this a lot and see this on Instagram memes, that business problems are always personal problems. And although that may sound a bit trite, if your business isn't growing, you have to look at the reasons why. Is it because you don't have the capacity in the business? Do you not have the right people in the right roles? Are you doing too much? Are you spending your time doing the wrong things? Um, are you building the right partnerships? Are you in the right places? Are you selling the right products at the right prices to the right people? So it's about unpicking, okay, so we're not where we need to be. What is going on? What can the data tell us? What can our data in our bodies, the feelings, the sensations, the knowing, the intuition tell us? And what are we going to do based on those results? So a lot of this is like being a detective, about supporting your client to really go deep in what's actually going on, what can they change, and how is that going to have an impact? So business coaches are not all about infinity pools and Lamborghinis. They are there to help support the business owner make strategic decisions that align with them and that help them move forward in a way that works with their goals. The great thing about it is it's all about personalization. And to be a great business coach, you need to have coaching skills. If you want to help people at that deep whole person level, because it's not only about the strategy, it's about them, their feelings, their emotions, their beliefs, their identity. And it's really going beneath that iceberg so people can make that shift into doing what they want to do. If you want to find out some more about training as a coach and becoming a business coach, check here and have a look at what we offer at Optimus Coach Academy. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd like you to like and subscribe. And remember to keep abreast of all of our new videos. Just ring that bell and you'll be notified when any new ones come out. And we'd love to hear feedback from you. So if you'd like to post beneath your biggest takeaway and equally anything that you'd like to hear me talk about, we're always open to feedback.